Well, hello, everybody. And as they say uh, in the beautiful island where America's Day begins, half a day. Uh, and Guam became a U.S. territory back in 1898, during the Spanish-American War. During the war, World War II, uh, our island, our very peaceful island, was invaded by another country. And what we remember in Guam is that fellow Americans came back and liberated us. I think Guam bleeds red, white, and blue. We understand what it was to be free. We understand what it felt to have that freedom, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness taken away from you. And then we, then we saw these incredible fellow Americans come back and give that back to us. As I grew up, I remember both my parents my mom and my dad, you know, they loved us. They taught us right from wrong, and they held us accountable on that. Um, but they loved us a lot. And then they also invested a lot um, in education. Uh, they worked very hard to get all five boys with the meager wages they had uh, through private school. We had to pay a tuition. I, I took that for granted back then. Now that I think about it, that was everything. They invested everything in education and love. I sat there at this private school called Father Duane's Memorial School, and I joined the Junior ROTC program. Why? Because there was an opportunity there. Why? Because I go, hey, it looks pretty cool to put on that uniform, man. And um, that was the first step, that decision I made at such a young age, because my dad and mom set me up for these opportunities. Oh my gosh. It set me down a certain path. My goal, going and joining the Navy in the beginning, was just to come to the United States, come to the mainland, we call it back in the island. Come to the mainland and see what it's like. First year of uh, the Naval Academy was very tough. Um, but I weathered all of that, and it was good. It made me better. And then as I went through my career as a surface warfare officer, and I'm primarily, I think back of my uh, time at sea, a majority of it has been in the Pacific. And, and I think back about it, uh, it was only until I became a department head in this journey that I said, oh my gosh, I, I, I may have a shot at being a commanding officer when I received this letter one day that I was selected to be an executive officer of a ship. And I think about this journey about how I couldn't have done it alone. Uh, I think back of people that are very important to me and my ohana, my familia. They were part of this journey. And so a big thing with me is I look at sailors, you know, and I try to apply the passion I had and the interests I had, and then the people that supported me, my, my family, my shipmates, the mentors that I had through the years, the, 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 the chief petty officers and the commanding officers and, and the wardroom shipmates that stopped me and said, hey, man, let's talk about this. Hey, you're kind of down right now. What's going on? And uh, that journey brought me to where I'm at now. Um, I look back on my life, it was uh, growing up. It really is the core and the foundation of who you grow up to be. And it was a very idyllic life. It was centered on family. It was centered on God. And it was centered on sharing things and trying to be good to others.